Hi, I'm Sal Maroney. I'm here to share with you something I believe every single man should know about. Something I wish I knew about a lot sooner. Specifically, we're gonna show you the how and the where to meet a perfect woman, your perfect woman. I've already done this, I know it works, it's gonna work for you. In this video, we're gonna cover everything you need to know. We're gonna to talk to some guys, just like you, guys have already been down here. We're gonna introduce you to the staff, show you around the place. We're also gonna to talk to guys like me. Guys have had a lot of success down here, found what we were looking for. Also, we're gonna talk, of course, to the ladies. Hi, my name is Cecilia Herrera. My name is Marta. Hi, my name is Maria Julia Ramirez. My name is Norma Perilla. My name is uh, Blanca Elena. Hello, my name is Andrea Lopez. We all know there's beautiful women all over the world. We see them everywhere we go. But what makes a beautiful woman extraordinary is when they're beautiful on the inside as well. When they are pleasant, nice, fun, feminine, easy to be with. This is something missing in most parts of the world today. But it still exists in some. It exists here in Colombia. There are reasons for this, and we'll get the answers later. First, let's meet some of the ladies. Hola, mi nombre es Claudia Naranjo, eh, soy de Bogotá, eh, toda mi vida he vivido acá en Bogotá, eh, me inscribí en la agencia pues porque me gustaría conocer a, a un hombre americano, me gusta, me parece que son fieles. I fall in love, I really fall in love with someone, I want to go whatever, I don't know, I don't care if I'm with that person that I love. Hi, my name is Adriana Lopez. Uh, I am 33 years old. Uh, I am zootechnista. I work with, with animals. I love animals. I love dogs and cats. I have a, a little son. Uh, she's uh, two years old. Hi, my name is Cecilia Herrera. I was born in Barranquilla, Colombia. All my family was born there. And if you don't know anything about Colombia, people from the coast are a bit different from people from, the, from, from up in the mountains. We're a little bit warmer, we are a little bit louder, pretty much the Italians of the Colombian world. Me interesa conocer un hombre americano porque son trabajadores, honestos, responsables, dedicados a la familia hogareños y creo que son fieles. Hi, my name is Ana Lucia. I am 26 years old. I live is in Bogotá and my occupation is consultant. My English is I talk to you in Spanish. Hello, my name is Denis. Uh, I am 26 years. Uh, I speak very little English. Busco un hombre especial que quiera a los niños, amoroso, tierno. Eh, yo soy muy tierna, muy amorosa. Eh, y te invito acá a Bogotá, Colombia, para que conozcas, me conozcas, conozcas a mi familia. Y no sé, que te sientas en tu casa, en tu familia, en tu país, un país muy lindo. My name is Karen Milena. I, uh, I am 20 years old. Uh, I am Colombia from Bogotá. I am studying pedagogía infantil. Mi nombre es Joana Almeida. Tengo 21 años. Soy estudiante de ontología. Eh, trabajo como modelo y bailarina, soy soltera, no tengo hijos, eh, vivo con mi familia y te invito a que vengas acá a Colombia a conocer las bellas ciudades que tenemos y a que conozcas los mejores rumbiaderos y para que sepas que es una verdadera rumba acá en Bogotá. Bye. I'm 31 years old, I'm engineer systems, I'm from Colombia, Barranca Bermeja. Um, a sweet woman, um, a smart woman, um, very tender, um, very sweet. Um, 
I want uh, to find the man perfect for me. Um, um, I want to to find the perfect man. The perfect man for me is is a, is a man uh, with a big heart, with a respectful, with um, there is many many chemistry. Excuse me, my English is so so. Eh, solo quiero que vengas a Colombia, que vengas a conocer mi país y ante todo pues que vengas a conocerme. Quiero que descubramos muchos sitios juntos, que veas lo hermoso que es mi país y todo lo que tiene para ofrecerte. Te espero y espero pues que encuentres en mí esa persona que tanto estás buscando. Hi, my name is Olga Lucia Uribe. I am 36 years old. I am from Bucaramanga, the beautiful city of Colombia. I am an accountant. I work in a model agency. Mm, I like the radical sports. I practice jump and parachute, uh, motocross. Para mí es importante conocer otras culturas, en especial hombres americanos, porque nuestras idiosincrasias varían mucho y sería interesante aprender de nuestras fortalezas y debilidades para enriquecernos mutuamente. Hi, my name is Maria Juliana Ramirez Sea. I am studying uh, social communication at the Savannah University. I have been in the United States. I have been in Miami and Orlando. I visit um, Magic Kingdom, Universal Studios, uh, MGM. One of the things that surprised me the most when I first came to Colombia was the variety of the women. They all seem to have a different look and a different style, but they all seem to have one thing in common. They all want a better relationship. Exactly does this mean? Well, that's why we talked to some of the girls in more detail about the culture of the Colombian woman, so we can understand. Let's listen. So good! So good! Now, I'm going to ask you straight up, right away. You're a beautiful girl. Thank you. I'm sure you can have any man you want. You, you're a professional. You, you, mm -hmm. As we say in the States, you got it going on. <laughs> Why are you in this agency? Okay, I'm a year and a half in the agency. Uh, my, my goal to be in the agency is cause, because I could find the person that maybe could give me the happiness for the rest of my life. Uh, I want to find a faith person, happy person, with a good sense of humor. And I heard that the uh, American men had... You heard that American yes. men like that? You're so not I quite love... sure yet. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I hear it. <laughs> you, so... heard a little, you heard a little thing. But, but no, seriously, it, it's a big step. Come meet an American man and, and, and you come to the agency. It is, as I've heard 9 million people live in Bogota, maybe... Four yeah. million men? Yeah, I Why know. not here? I know, but uh, if, if you have a menu and you have a, a lot of ways how to find the person that you want, the Colombian boy is a person who have custom, for example, to leave the woman at home and to stay all the time to take care of the children. And he used to go to the parties and... Uh, drink so much, uh, smokes, and uh, go out with another girls. Are we t we talking about all Colombian men? Every Most of them. Most of them? Yeah. Uh, You're telling me you can be physically attracted to a man 20 years older than you? Y yeah. You can? Why not? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of know. course, of course. You know, because <laughs> I think that I'm the, the mentally that the man is uh, is he's older. Mm -hmm. uh, used to be more attractive. Mm. Really? So yeah, <laughs> used to be like interest. <laughs> yeah, looks like more attractive. Right. So that reason, and if you mix, uh, if this person is more physical attractive, mm -hmm. and this person can uh, teach you a lot right. of things and you have more experience, right. maybe. Yes. 
if, uh, if you have the possibility to go to the United States and live with this person, or, right. the, or maybe this person want, want to live in Colombia, doesn't matter if he's in Colombia. If he or wants if, to come to know? Colombia and stay with you, you'll be happy to stay in Colombia? Yeah. You will? Why not? Yeah. Really? It's, it's, uh, you know, it's better. It's better. Could be the best. Mm -hmm. But if this person give me the safe and security and the happiness, could uh, share with me all the things that I want to share with the perfect person that for me is, uh, if I have to go to the United States, doesn't matter. I like very much the, uh, the children, uh, the family, uh, party with my family. Um, I need the family, the big family, okay? Uh, I like very much uh, um, my friends, friends to my uh, boyfriend, or in the future maybe my husband, I don't know. Um, I need uh, the big family. I like very much. Really, I think you have to be married for, you know, have a family, for share a lot of things, because you've grown up yourself and you're ready for. So it's pretty important that you can ready for, you know, finish your life pretty comfortable and with company, the people that love you. And I prefer the, the men, they want to be child or kids or something, don't want to be in family. And no, I, I want to get someone or somebody for them filming, you know, for them be alone or something like that. No, 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 it's for get, you know, getting older <laughs> and have a little, you know, grandsons and Christmas and a lot of things because for me the home is different. I don't say house, I, all the time I say home. You know, because I want to go in home. I want to be in a nice family with that. I can talk with my, I don't know, grandma or somebody, you know. Yeah. And then share, share, really, really great time. So I'm ready for that. And the most important thing is the relationship that we can build together, you know. Uh, uh, all the qualities that I can um, put uh, and to offer to build a relation and all this, the, the things and the qualities that the man um, in, the, in the same way can put and can offer to build a very good and nice relationship. Uh, firstly, I, I, I like the look of the American men, you know, I like very much the look. And, uh, okay, I think that the culture is different uh, to the Colombian men. I think that the culture is different. I like that culture, you know. So there is a reason that I'm looking for that person, American man. Colombian women are truly different. Because of Colombia's relative isolation and the strong tradition of family values, Colombian women are incredibly loyal and non-materialistic. Qualities you just don't see anymore in the world today. So let's go meet some more Colombian ladies. My name is Lucia Esperanza Mancip. I'm 37 years old. I'm a teacher. I'm single and I don't have children. I live here in Bogota. I would like to invite you here to my country because my country is so beautiful and the people here in Colombia is lovely, is honest, and I would like to show you my, the nature of my country I would like to introduce you my family because our family here in Colombia is so important for us. Goodbye. Hello, my name is Isabel Cristina Isaza. I am 28 years old. I have a children. He has 10 years. I am a teacher and I live with my father and my brother. Soy una persona honrada, honesta, sincera, leal. Soy muy alegre, soy tierna y demasiado cariñosa. Me encanta ser detallista. Mi nombre es Paola Rosso, tengo 24 años. Soy esteticista, vivo aquí en Bogotá y soy soltera. 
Hola, mi nombre es Joana Alcántara, tengo 23 años, soy soltera, no tengo hijos, eh, trabajo independiente, soy estilista, vivo con mi mamá aquí en Bogotá, Colombia. Me gustaría conocerte, me gustaría que vinieras aquí, eh, compartiéramos, aquí hay muchos sitios aquí en Bogotá, hay muchos sitios chéverísimos por conocer, eh, me encantaría compartir, te espero aquí en Colombia. Hola, mi nombre es Alejandra Méndez, tengo 24 años, soy soltera, no tengo hijos, vivo en Bogotá, Colombia, soy administradora de empresas. Me gustaría que vinieras a mi país a conocerme, ojalá podernos ver pronto y entablar una mejor relación. Mi nombre es Mara Fernanda, soy soltera, tengo 32 años, vivo aquí en Bogotá, Colombia, no tengo hijos, vivo con mi familia y soy licenciada en educación preescolar. Hola, me llamo Silvia, tengo 20 años, en este momento soy estudiante, um, tengo una familia muy grande pero somos muy unidos y de mí te puedo contar que soy un poco tímida al principio pero soy muy divertida, eh, te invito a Colombia, sé que te va a fascinar, es un país muy lindo pero más linda soy yo. Mi nombre es Norma Perilla, tengo 31 años, soy soltera, no tengo hijos. Eh, te invito a Colombia, es un país muy hermoso, hay muchos lugares lindos que podemos conocer juntos y pasar momentos muy gratos. Eh, te espero pronto. Colombia es espectacular, somos mujeres muy bonitas, con, mucho, con muchas ganas de formar un hogar, de tener una buena relación, de ofrecer mucho amor y mucha sinceridad y fidelidad en un matrimonio. Con to Colombia is beautiful. Los esperamos. Un beso. Chao. Now this is just a few of the girls here with us. We have over 1200 girls, new girls coming in all the time to meet guys just like you. Quality guys. Over the 10 years we've been in business, we've helped thousands of guys from all over the world from the United States, Canada, Europe, Australia. All the guys are coming for one thing. They all want to meet a special woman. They've all had something to say, so let's take a look at some of them. I've been coming down here for, I guess, 10 or 12 years, and uh, I wasn't in a big hurry to get married. I enjoyed coming down here because it's such a great experience. Most of the guys I've met have, uh, oh, there's a common thread, I guess, that runs through everybody where uh, they're looking for more than what they can find in a woman in the United States. And uh, I guess fortunately enough for those of us who come down here, there are a lot of women available. I think you have to come here. So any, any, any guy who's thinking of coming here, he should, should just come here. The one thing that I found about women that I've met in Colombia is that They're much more traditional. Um, they're very accepting of traditional roles in the family and what they bring to the relationship. They're real clear about, um, and they make it real clear for us what, that, what that's about. And uh, it's just much more comfortable. There are phenomenal women here, beautiful women, highly educated women. But whatever you're looking for, you can find here. And um, uh, of course, my, my most important thing that I can say to you is, find a really good agency to work with. They will make your stay uh, and your journey um, either difficult or easy. The women in Colombia are phenomenal. They're very beautiful. They have very good personalities. Uh, you know, they have good uh, family values. Uh, yeah, you know, I highly recommend it. Uh, the experience I've found in the States is, is they look at a guy like me, I'm 48 years old, and um, they look at me and they think I'm an old man. And these are women in their late 30s, early 40s. They think I'm an old man. And, you know, it's just, they don't have that attitude down here. You can talk to them anywhere from, you know, 20 to 40. It doesn't matter. And the young ones, you know, it doesn't matter to them what age you are, as long as they like you. And I tell you, anyone who's contemplating this, don't hesitate for a minute. It is unbelievable what you will see and what you will do. Um, it's been great. It's, it's been lovely already. Uh, I feel close to uh, more than a few women. And, Everyone has been nice, and there's, there are loads of wisdom uh, from all the guys who've been here, the veterans who've been here. 
So you need to check it out. The first time I came, I came for, I was going to stay a week, and I ended up staying two weeks. I would have stayed longer if I could. <laughs> but I mean, I didn't want to go home. <laughs> I just wanted to stay here. I wanted to sell everything and just move over here. I came to explore uh, more of a holiday to explore, and I'm pleasantly surprised how friendly, family-oriented, and sweet the ladies are that I've met. And uh, so I'm, I'm very impressed with the quality. I just about come to the point where I don't even think I want to date another North American girl. So I have to tell you, it is something you have to experience to believe. The women here are beautiful, receptive, kind, very sincere. I have no worries that anybody is trying to scam me into getting a green card at all. Uh, I have met on this trip at least 10 women. Five of those I could easily say would be beautiful marriage material. I just like uh, the women here, a little more feminine, very intelligent, kind of interesting, uh, very warm, passionate, fun. They like to have a good time, they like to dance. Uh, just uh, very friendly women. The girls are great. Um, they're beautiful, uh, they're intelligent, uh, sincere, honest. Uh, I don't have enough good things to say about them all. And I decided to go on a getaway trip to Colombia, and it's been everything and more than I expected. The first night, they took us off uh, into a nice hotel. We went into uh, a dance club in the hotel. There was uh, 40 beautiful women, uh, excellent, excellent food, music, drinks, unbelievable. During these last 10 years, our agency has been featured in dozens of newspapers, magazines, TV shows, you name it. That's because what we do, it works. Let's take a look right now at some of these. Buenas noches. Para el amor no existen distancias infranqueables, ni barreras idiomáticas, ni diferencias culturales. Y en esa búsqueda febril del alma gemela, la Internet ha permitido que 800 mujeres colombianas y 1,200 galanes norteamericanos encuentren su media naranja. Esta es la historia de un cupido sin fronteras. Amor en el ciberespacio. Miriam López es una bogotana de 31 años. Hace dos meses se inscribió en una agencia matrimonial. ¿Me contesta? Eh, bueno, señorita, estoy interesada. En el... Él es Michael Lodum. En mayo cumplió un año de estar afiliado a la agencia que ofrece la posibilidad a extranjeros de conocer colombianas. Mirando los catálogos, ha conocido varias. Sin embargo, desde hace un tiempo se relaciona con una en especial y espera venir a Bogotá para pasar un tiempo con ella. Well, I think... I think that, uh, my experiences with American women él dice que la experiencia de él con mujeres americanas is that more materialistic. es que son mujeres más materialistas and they don't, uh, they're not as family oriented. y no son fa familiarmente orientadas and, uh, they're not as committed to a relationship. y no están muy comprometidas con una relación. As I've heard that Colombian women are. Por ahí dicen que el amor no tiene sexo, color ni edad y para el caso tampoco idioma. Llegó Michael, lo conocí por intermedio de email. Eh, me contó todas sus cosas, siento que es una persona seria, a mí ya se me acabó el momento de ser novia, ahora quiero ser novia, amante, esposa y amiga. Después de muchas conversaciones, ires y venires, Miriam le dio el sí a Michael y muy pronto ella viajará a Estados Unidos para conocer la familia de su príncipe azul. Yo en ese momento no estoy viendo que él sea americano, ni que sea colombiano, simplemente es la persona adecuada para mí, me gustó, me enamoré, y me voy a casar con él. By the thousands, men from South Florida and around the country are traveling to Colombia to find their perfect mate. Hola. These women are out to meet a man. I just want to find the love. Yeah. An American man. And even though most don't speak the same language, there are plenty of American men anxious to take these women out of South America and into South Florida and around the U.S. There's a natural beauty here with these women that you just don't see anywhere else. 
Why are American men by the hundreds looking for love in Colombia? The American woman just doesn't do it for us anymore. Hablamos con los don Juanes extranjeros y escuchen por qué las prefieren colombianas. Las mujeres norteamericanas con las que he salido solo están interesadas en saber cuánta plata gano y qué clase de casa tengo. Lo que yo veo en las mujeres colombianas es que tratan al hombre muy bien. And if they're lucky tonight, they'll find it here on this dance floor in Bogota, Colombia. When a Latin woman talks to you, she looks you straight in the eyes. And when she speaks Spanish and he speaks English, the eyes may be all they've got. This is me, isn't it? In a city of 8 million people, you would think it would be easy to find a husband, but there are far fewer men here than women, and that's not the only problem. The women we met say Colombian men can be, well, a little macho. The city, the country, it's very good. After four days, Larry was still searching for a spark of romance. But his buddy Jeff from Atlanta, well, he was already engaged. And as we found, love can still flourish where language falters. Just ask Mike. ¿Por qué escogió Colombia? ¿Qué piensa que tienen las mujeres colombianas para convertirla en su esposa? Um, yo um, visité a um, agencia hace um, 18 meses, uh, solo cinco días, un corto tiempo. Me encanta, yo quiero regresar. Entonces, yo aquí. ¿Pero por qué Colombia? Why Quiso Colombia regresar. Bueno, well, seguro todavía, um, todavía buscando, ojalá, el encontrar, ojalá. Hi guys! How are you? Thank you, how you doing? Good to see you. Uh, this is just a brochure, but they're catalogs like this with picture after picture after picture. And I tell you, these are very lovely ladies. Mike, is this how you found your wife through a catalog? Yes, it is. And did you pick her out based on what? Uh, based on a feeling. From a picture? A reaction. A piece reaction, of paper. yes. And, and what, what was that feeling? There was somebody that I wanted to meet. If I was in a club, I would approach that woman and try to meet her. You're very happily married now, right? Yes. And, and uh, your wife is from? Colombia. What, what is it that she has that you couldn't find over here? An innocence. <laughs> Porque las mujeres asiáticas, Singapur, Hong Kong, otra, como los gringas, es muy materialista. Eh, colombianas, muy cariñosas, más románticas, eh, mejor esa esposa. A continuación, aquí y ahora, con Teresa Rodríguez. Un muchacho atractivo, preparado, educado. Eh, o sea, yo no puedo entender cómo este muchacho no puede encontrar una novia en Estados Unidos. Bueno, mmm... La verdad es que no, no tengo dificultad en encontrar a alguien aquí. Lo que me pasa es que lo que busco no encuentro aquí. Pero no estás buscando una mujer sumisa que diga, no, ah, no, 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 nada, no, yo no, hago lo que usted nada. diga. O sea. No, para no. nada. Y Mark, ¿por qué no encontrar a una muchacha latinoamericana en Estados Unidos? Bueno, ahora me meto un lío, pero que las colombianas son, son, son muy, 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 muy bellas. Bueno, ahora les cuento. Resulta que muchas mujeres de nuestro país sueñan con encontrar el amor de un extranjero. Es más, eh, hace un tiempo acá mismo en nuestro programa vimos cómo hay varias mujeres colombianas casadas con hombres argentinos. Lo curioso es que ahora de pronto vengan extranjeros a buscar de pronto el amor de su vida acá en Colombia. ¿Qué será eso tan especial que tenemos las colombianas que están viniendo los extranjeros a buscar aquí el amor de su vida? ¿Qué será aquello tan especial? Esa es una pregunta que nos van a contestar nuestros invitados de esta tarde. Ellos son dos norteamericanos, Richard Fluker y Gary Ollinger. Bienvenidos. Un aplauso, por favor, para ellos. Y Gary, aparte del amor que le ofrecería a esa colombiana que lo, era, que lo enamore. Uh, what can I offer? Yeah. Uh, um, besides love. Oh, besides love. Oh, 
de sí. compañía, ¿no es cierto? Una gran for, compañía. Uh, for life. Por la toda la vida. Sí. Él quiere para toda la vida. Eso es lo que necesitamos las mujeres o no. Pero ah. si son fieles los norteamericanos. Que si son fieles. No todos. No todos. Ok. Pero de veras yo creo somos en comparación. Sí. Somos. Yo creo que son más fieles los norteamericanos que los colombianos, seguro. <risa> Yo ahora les quiero mostrar qué piensan las mujeres colombianas de los extranjeros. Mejor dicho, lo que preguntamos a algunas mujeres que si se casarían con un extranjero y esto fue lo que nos respondieron. Estaría muy bien. ¿Preferiría que fuera colombiana? Sí. Sí. No. Sí. Sí, claro. Sí, un argentino, un bimbo. Sí. 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 ¿Tú? Sí. Puede ser. Claro. We've been talking about the ladies, the guys who've been here, but right now, let's talk about where you're going to come visit, Bogota, Colombia. Well, here's my feeling about that. I was told, don't go anywhere by yourself. I was told, don't even go to certain areas within the city, but do not go into the countryside. I have been out on at least three occasions. I've gone to three malls by myself. I've uh, walked the streets. I've taken dates at night, six blocks, to a restaurant, and never once have I felt challenged by anyone and uncomfortable. Going around Bogota, it's been very, very uh, comfortable. The malls are comfortable. The restaurants are great. Um, you know, there's just no, no reason to even think about being uncomfortable or not safe or any of that sort of thing. I've felt very safe the whole time that I've been here. Um, I've traveled in other countries and I felt as safe, if not more, here than in other countries. I don't see how it's any less safe than any major American city. It's, it's just as safe as uh, Detroit or Miami. In, uh, in America, we hear, in the United States, we hear bad news, but it's only of random events and uh, we see the news all the time, but in actuality, it's, uh, uh, it's just, I find it very safe here. Well, I think like anything else, there, there's a lot of negative press in Colombia, and, uh, uh, and wrongfully so. Uh, you know, Bogota is a beautiful place. I, I've been out at three, four, five o'clock in the morning. We were out at four o'clock in the morning the other day. Never had a problem, never had anything, even somebody look at us funny. I, I feel much safer here than they do walking around uh, my own hometown of Denver at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning to save her. Right now I'd like to introduce the agency. It's an incredible place, open 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, never closes. Everything is there, the hotel, the bar, the meeting room, everything you need. And right now I'd like to introduce Nelson Grisales, who owns the agency and runs it with his family, so we can meet him and some of his staff. Surprise for you, it's uh, Columbia Music. I think you're gonna like it. The reason is very simple, Sal. It's, it's our upbringing. I've had an experience, to, I've been experiencing both cultures. I experienced the American culture and the Colombian culture. It's just the way we're brought up. The girls are brought up on a, on a very family, strong family values, which, uh, which have been lost in other places. They're still very existent in our culture. That's the, that's the only reason why. Uh, you will come to see that uh, 
a lot of the men that have come down with uh, to Colombia to meet a wife, they've become very good friends of our family. Uh, they've become very good friends with the staff because that's the Colombian, uh, that's a Colombian tradition or it's the Colombian way. Uh, people are very warm and, and everybody that comes down and that's a personal guarantee I make will experience a great time and they will go back with very fond memories of the entire experience. Uh, I, I, I can guarantee that. Sal, back here with you. We're at uh, Latin American Introductions and I'm going to talk with Claudia Amaya. She is the manager uh, here at LAI at the agency. And uh, before I introduce her, I want to say that I owe a debt of gratitude to Claudia because she introduced me personally to my wife, whom I would not have met otherwise. So I want to thank you for that, Claudia. <laughs> Hey, thank yeah. you, Sal. Right. Uh, hi, guys. Uh, I work here in Latin American Introductions, and we wait for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and how do you feel when you see people come together, like Monica and I? Does that make you happy? Yes, of course. <laughs> totally happy. And, and when you come, you feel, that you feel the same thing. Right. Mm. Okay, well, we thank you very much. You are more than gracious in talking with us and we're going to see you again. You're going to be right here, aren't you, at the mm -hmm. agency, yes. helping out people just like you helped me. Of course, and I helped you too. I'm really, I'm believing my words. You love mm, come here. Hi, I'm Chris. I manage the bar here in Latin American Introductions. I've been here in Colombia for about uh, eight and a half years, so I can tell you firsthand this is a terrific place to be. My, uh, my pleasure to uh, welcome you and uh, come down here and have a beer. The first beer's on me. Oh, it's a great place. Uh, Charlie runs it, and uh, it's his son, Nelson. Both of them are just real helpful. I mean, if there's a problem when you get here, and it, you know, and you say, well, I, I need this, or I need something else, or a problem with anything, they're there right away to help you fix it, you know, or do something, to, you know, make it better, or give you a hand. And they're very accommodating. Wonderful. The people here are very helpful, uh, very personal. If you need personal help, they're the ones to see. I mean, uh, um, they'll make phone calls for you, they'll uh, talk to the women for you if you need help with a certain situation. They're always very good at, at uh, helping you out. The agency's fantastic. In fact, I feel everyone at the agency I'm friends with, I call. Um, I even call Herman now and again. Um, Nelson's great. I've been, f I mean, I'm friends with everybody there. And um, like Jeff said before, I would just come here just to visit and say, how are you doing? I have found his staff to be extremely helpful, uh, very courteous, and for me, uh, a person did not have a lot of command of the Spanish language. Uh, I found the fact that, that the staff was both fluent in English and Spanish to be extremely helpful. So again, I would like to extend my thanks to Charlie and all of his staff for uh, the great service that I was given and the fact that I felt very safe, very comfortable, and uh, uh, it turned out to be a, a, a wonderful experience because uh, uh, I believe that, that I'm going to initiate uh, the K-1 visa as required by the United States and, and bring home a, a young lady for my wife. Yeah, it's very nice. Uh, it's a great place. Uh, the agency is in a great location, very safe, very secure. Uh, the people are in the staff is really good. Uh, food, excellent quality of the, the help, uh, the people that help are, are excellent. So I'm very happy. Uh, I think the staff is wonderful. Herman is great. Um, 
yeah, they're, they're, they're always busy, I tell you. You, you, <laughs> you kind of think like, um, wow, what do these guys do? And, and they're, they're pretty busy because there's just so much traffic. But uh, yeah, they've been a wonderful help, great help. Oh, the staff is excellent. They're very helpful. Um, they are extremely uh, fun and easy to hang with and uh, will help you at every opportunity in getting and meeting the women that you want to meet. Well, what I said is, they, first of all, they, they welcome you with open arms. They treat you like a family. And they're not here to nickel and dime you, which you can find at other agencies. Um, the hotel is comfortable, where I've stayed at another agency in Barranquilla, and I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, it's not comfortable. Here it's, it's, well, I don't know if you'd call it first world or five star. It's very comfortable. Hot water and the rooms are clean and they do a great job. And they've got, they've got a restaurant here. They've got a bar here. So you've got the benefit of a hotel and the agency all in one place where most other agencies, either they have a crappy bed and breakfast or a crappy hotel uh, or they have an office and you're sitting around an office all day and that's no fun. This is a lot more comfortable. Ultimately, what matters is your success, that you come here and you find that perfect person you're looking for. And in the past, we had many people do that, myself included. So right now, why don't we take a look at some of the people who found that success. Do it ASAP, mucho pronto. Um, I waited probably about three months, but maybe that was more so because I needed to get the financial uh, uh, means, but if you can at all do it as quick as possible, there's nothing to decide. I mean, when you see a gal that looks like this and, you know, is not only available, but uh, is very friendly, very wanting of you, what more can you ask? Uh, you need to check it out. There's nothing, to, the more you wait, the more time you spent not being with her. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, no, I highly recommend it. It's uh, something there's no reason in the world to wait. Uh, time is important, time is money, and in a relationship, uh, why waste time? As far as coming down here, it's easy. All you have to do is make the decision. As I heard somebody that come down here, I don't remember whether it was here or down to Cali, uh, had said, just get off the fence and buy a ticket. You'll never regret it. And I agree completely. They just need to do it. To be honest, the first minute I looked in her eyes, that was it for me. You were gone. That was it. You were a guy. I've told her that a couple of times. See. I just fell in love with her instantly. Did you have any problems communicating? No, she speaks fluent English. Does she? So is she being shy t today in the camera? <laughs> a little. <laughs> no, but I think that when you love someone, that doesn't matter if you speak the other language. You can understand. At least you try to. And that helps a lot. I guess probably the last thing I'd want to say is, uh, um, the biggest thing about the country that probably intimidates a lot of people is uh, um, is not uh, not to be afraid. And if you want to, uh, a lot of the things in the United States, uh, I know men go through with the materialism and whatnot. Uh, um, I think the women here in Colombia, on top of being obviously gorgeous, uh, uh, have some really good values. And um, I guess it's a step back, I don't want to say a step back in time, but a step back that uh, they value the things that are a little more important, family and instead of uh, the material things in life, and that was more or less what I was hunting for. You will never have an experience like this anywhere. You should feel safe, uh, you should feel comfortable coming here, the people are extremely friendly. There's nowhere that I know in the world that you can go and meet as many beautiful people and beautiful girls as you can here in Colombia. Um, and you'll have the time of your life. It will, it will be the best decision you will ever make. Do Just it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be regretting it for the rest of your life if you don't do it. <laughs> I mean, it's just the best thing I've ever done. It's the best decision I've ever made. And if you're looking for uh, a woman that is into family values, it's beautiful inside and out, this is the place to be. Somebody that takes care of you. Mm -hmm. And spools you. <laughs> And you have my next show you or not? Well, if you don't, that's fine. No. We just, I don't know. I mean, we're willing, if we find the right man, the man of our dreams, we're willing to give it all up for you guys. I mean, we'll leave our country, our, co our cultures, our families, everything. Right? Yeah. Okay. Bueno.
Eh, yo vine acá eh, de casualidad, nunca pensé que pudiera funcionar este tipo de cosas, pero realmente es muy interesante poder con, conocer personas con, de otra cultura y ya solamente me arriesgué y encontré una gran persona. Es, eh, al comienzo es, pues toca hablar mucho, eh, cuadrar ser muy sinceros, honestos, pero, pero es muy bonito y yo creo que vale la pena. Uh, are you guys happy? Ah? Are you guys happy? Guys? Ha yeah, are you both ah, happy? Yeah. <laughs> are you happy to have talk in the sign? You're in love? <laughs> deeply, deeply in love? I feel it. I feel uh, every day that I spend with her is just an incredible learning process about her. It's beautiful inside now. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Doug. Gracias. I had second thoughts about it myself, and all you have to do is, you know, be truthful to yourself, and don't always believe what you hear. I, I, you know, if, if I had believed in what I heard, you know, I wouldn't have been here, but I, I proved to myself I was wrong, and, you know, you have to be strong and come down and try for yourself. I think that you have to give an opportunity de tener esa experiencia, de compartir con otra gente, con otras culturas y de pronto pueden que encuentren el hombre de su vida que las haga feliz. Ellos de pronto tienen algo muy especial y si vienen acá es porque están buscando de pronto algo serio, eh, quieren un compromiso, quieren un matrimonio, quieren un hogar, que es lo que no, no estamos encontrando ahorita eh, en, los hombres, en muchos hombres colombianos. You've seen everything we have to offer. You've met the incredible ladies, kind of women you can't meet anywhere else in the world. You've also met guys just like you. Guys who've come down here and had a fantastic time. We've met Nelson and his family, the agency. We've also seen the beautiful city of Bogota and everything that it has to offer. We've also met guys like me. Guys who've come down here and had incredible success finding the woman that we want to meet to spend the rest of our lives with. Your next step is very simple. All you need to do is call us at the number provided and we'll get you started immediately. Take the future into your own hands today. The one thing I've got to say is, um, you know, life is short and it gets away quick. And if you, if you don't do things that you really want to do or that you really desire to do, then you got no one to blame at the end of your life, except yourself. I guess in, in somewhat disbelief, I came to LAI in Bogota here. Um, but of my own free will, I'm just saying that I've really come to accept what was printed as accurate and true. And I would endorse anybody that's interested in finding a fine young lady to uh, come to Bogota. The staff is extremely professional and helpful. Um, and they really care about their business, and it's a hard business to do because the people business involves people. The best advice I could give anyone who um, might be looking for a future wife is forget what you read, call American Airlines, get you a plane ticket, <laughs> call you or Nelson, yeah. and, and make arrangements to get picked up at the airport, and come on down and have a big time and meet a lot of beautiful, nice ladies. When I was dating uh, after my first divorce, and I, I had the toys to, to attract what American women want. I had the Corvette and the boat and the nice house and all that stuff. Um, but when I'd go on a date with somebody, it was more like I was filling out a credit card application. And uh, you can't have a relationship like that. Or I would have... Um, I would have people suggest to me that a good relationship requires people to have pre-marriage counseling, which seemed insane <laughs> to me. So th this kind of takes me back to, I think, for me, what for me would be younger days when dating was normal and, and women were more the type of person I would marry.